okay hello guys actually at the end i use the one the 500 grams because then i can really flatten it out and i thought it was too big but actually 500 grams i have a big oven plate and it's gonna become really yeah uh, a bit thick so what you do you have put oil in on the oven plate underneath then you flatten the the pizza dough and you keep with your finger you know not to make it too thin otherwise it will burn and try to make the side is a little bit uh, the sides a little bit higher okay so don't have holes in between my hands are a little bit oily from the oil underneath which is good it helps me to to work out i don't want to come too much on video so it's gonna okay so now i want to show you the the topping so this is quite good it's not too thin actually no the 500 unless you have a small oven plate it's okay to divide the 500 gram dough into two parts you know otherwise one uh, one of 500 gram on a big plate is better other times i made one kilo that's why i could easily divide it by two okay so now right so what am i gonna do now remember i told you about the salsa so you're gonna put the salsa but i also told you told you not to put too much so i'm gonna show you okay so and then it becomes really nice you see it's not overloaded with sauce and i do a little bit at the side so it doesn't burn yes now let me... now actually in the meantime what you do you put the oven 200 degrees We'll show you in a in second. So, what you need to do is use the symbol up and bottom air, and then you do, yeah, depending on the, on the oven, put it 200. And then the time, here uh, you'll see, I don't know, 20 minutes. I'm not sure I do everything. Uh, I don't really look at that. You will see if it's getting too uh, too dry, right? So you you can have a look. Um, I will let you know how it goes. This is an electric oven, and I'm using the air at the top and at the bottom. And I will place the pizza basically in the middle. So in the third uh, part. So this is not correct. This way with the phone is a bit difficult 200 and this symbol and okay so what am i gonna do now i put the sauce uh, i forgot you need to cut pieces of garlic okay if you don't like garlic don't add it so i'm gonna do the garlic for sure and i told you i'm gonna do the tajaska olives they are amazing And I think you can find them. Of course, the mozzarella doesn't go now, but it goes in the last few minutes. Otherwise, it's going to burn. Then I'm going to get a little bit of cuppers. If you don't like, don't use them. You know? I actually will add the garlic in pieces after I stop the video. Now I do this ingredient, but if you want to do, you do the pieces of garlic, the olives, the cuppers. Then we're going to add the anchovies. 
anchovies, I think is in English. You can pieces like this. You don't have to, you can do how you want the pizza. Only by advice I give you is add the ingredients at the end. The initial ingredients you can uh, put are the tomato sauce, for example. But if you are going to make pizza with ham, you add it at the end. The mozzarella as well at the end. Um, the ham you have it normally raw. And the mozzarella you put the last few minutes in the oven. Okay? Now, what I did in mine is having the cuppers, the jovis, the small pieces, the olives. I am going to add the garlic. And then what you need to do? You need to add the salt. And then you're gonna have oil. Remember, I still have to add the garlic because otherwise I have to uh, wash my hands and do. So I will add the garlic and again the mozzarella, I will add it only at the end. And at the end, I will have also the um well no actually you can have it now i said to the beginning that i will have uh, basilicum but actually the best ingredient for me on the pizza especially this pizza is the oregano so i'm gonna add oregano in the pizza on the top mm? if you wanna add basilico again do it at the end when it's already warm otherwise it's gonna it's gonna burn okay so you take it out of the oven and you can add the basilicum or you can add it when you add the mozzarella okay i'm gonna stop the video now because i'm i'm gonna put it in the oven but i will add the garlic as i said uh, if you don't want to have these ingredients you make your own but remember to add the ham raw or maybe yes if you liked it cooked as well but the last few minutes together with the mozzarella another tip is Take the mozzarella out of the fridge and um, uh, so that uh, it will not be juicy and watery when you put it on the pizza. Take it two hours uh, before and let the juice be removed. And, uh, and it will, this one is not very juicy mozzarella, uh, but if you use a juicy one, those in a, bo in a plastic, uh, take the juice out, take it out of the fridge and leave it uh, there and... Uh, for a while outside and um, and then when you add it at the last few minutes it will not have you will not be watery see you soon oops i cannot stop because my hands are oily oops <laughs> okay doesn't want to stop so i'm gonna use a piece of paper and I'll see you in uh, in a minute if I can stop it but it doesn't seem <laughs> okay see you then no it doesn't it doesn't want to stop 